Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love in the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about Season 3 of The Americans. <laughs> You can check out my reviews for seasons one and two up in the cards thing. And if you watch those videos, you know that I liked this show. I really liked this show, but I always felt that there was something holding it back. Like it was really good, but it could be great. The Americans is primarily about two things. One is espionage, the Soviet Union trying to spy on the United States and American intelligence agencies trying to counter that. Two is marriage, the relationship between Philip and Elizabeth, parenting, all of that, and surprisingly enough, that is very often the more interesting part of this show. Season three continues to follow Philip and Elizabeth as they balance being super spies, parents, and a married couple. But now you have the added bonus of, and this is going to be a spoiler for season two, so if you have not watched season two, mute this video until I start waving my hands like this. So as an added bonus to all the difficult things that are already going on in Philip and Elizabeth's life, the center just told them at the end of season two that they want Paige, their daughter, to be the next super spy. So it means that now Phil and Liz have to tell Paige who they really are and then start developing her and eventually training her to join their ranks. All right. Spoiler over! Season 3 is what I wanted this show to be since I started watching it. First of all, I could not stop watching this season. I'm talking staying up until 3 or 4 a.m., telling myself just one more episode and then, you know, watching all the episodes. And it's not that this is like an action-packed, super fast-paced season. No, not at all. I'm actually pretty sure that this is up until now the least amount of fighting and chasing. But one thing among many other things that have been mastered in this season is suspense. Holy shit, this season kicked my ass and I'm pretty sure it gave me a heart condition. When Philip or Elizabeth are in a room doing a spy thing, tampering with something, planting a bug, and you know that they don't have a lot of time to do that thing, you find yourself kind of looking over their shoulder. I'm not exactly sure what it was about this season that wasn't quite there in previous seasons, but I got so into it. I could feel the tension. I mean, I actually got nervous. It was like, come the fuck on, Phil, get out of there. So all the spy stuff this season was on one hand more subtle, but on the other way more intense. Well, not all of it is subtle. There were a few brutal scenes. Phil and Liz can kick all the asses when they need to. The characters themselves and their development as people was always a huge part of this show, and that part is pretty much the same in this season as well. Like in previous seasons, we get to learn a lot more about Elizabeth and Philip and essentially how human they are. And FBI agent extraordinaire Stan Beeman also gets a lot of introspection in this season, which I thought was absolutely great because I think he's a fascinating character. The more personal part of the story also shines in this season as things become more complicated between Elizabeth and Philip and it essentially becomes much harder to kind of be there for one another when each of them has so many things they have to deal with. And on top of that, you have the whole page situation. I know that in the past I've criticized the performances in this show just a bit, but Matthew Rees, if I'm pronouncing his name right, and Kerry Russell, who I think are also a couple in real life, are nothing short of spectacular in this season. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Something else I have to point out is that this season has one of the saddest, most heartbreaking moments that I've seen on a TV show, I don't know, maybe ever. It's episode nine. If you watched it, then you know what I'm talking about, but if I keep talking about it, I will cry right now. Sometimes you see an incredible moment of television and that was one of those moments. Do you know how you find yourself sometimes kind of talking to the show you're watching? Like, why would you say that thing? Say another thing instead. Why don't you just say this? But sometimes it's because the dialogue doesn't make sense. Why would you say this thing? An actual person would say this other thing. So I did find myself doing that, saying like, why would you tell her this? Why didn't you tell her this other thing? But not because I had any issue with the dialogue that was also just amazing in this season, because Phil and Liz feel so real to me at this point. Because of that, because they feel so real, and sometimes it's hard to say the right thing right there in the moment because it's not scripted. And that's 
how it felt to me. And as an observer, as like a third party kind of watching the conversation between Philip and Elizabeth, there were moments where I wanted Philip to say something, or I wanted Elizabeth to say something. But at the same time, I understood why they couldn't. And that is such a powerful thing for a show to do. I hope any of that makes sense. I kind of went off script with this, with this little bit. Bottom line, should you watch? As of making this video, I have not watched season four yet, so with that in mind, I think that season three is the perfect season of this show. Everything about the story in this season was intense and nerve-wracking, and this season just pulled me in in every way possible, and I freaking loved it. If you have not watched this season yet, watch it. If you have not watched The Americans at all yet, I'd say start watching it immediately just to get to this season. Don't get me wrong, seasons one and two are good, more than deserving of your time, but season three is amazing. What about you? Do you share my enthusiasm about season three or maybe you saw it a bit differently? Let me know in the comments down below and let's get the discussion going. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot and if you're finding binge watchers, for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging, and I will see you next time.